Sometimes you just find such a simple, such a clean, such a perfect little application that helps you in your daily life that you say to yourself, self, let's redesign that app. In today's episode of Let's Redesign That App, I'm gonna be redesigning this little beauty called Lotus. It's a Magic the Gathering life counter. If you don't know what Magic the Gathering is, it's a really nerdy card game that I'm into. This application simply lets you start a game, choose how many lives, how many players, which orientation, start the game, and then count up and down the amount of lives that your opponent is kicking your butt for. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. All right, we're going to dive right in and get going. I have the app pulled up and we're just going to we're going to start we're just going to get going. Let's do it. I have Figma open here and I'm going to open a new design file and we're just going to get cranking. That's a bit bright. I'm going to take the background of my Figma file down so we can we can get a little bit darker, a little bit easier on the eyeballs. Here we go. I'm going to hit A for artboard or frame. I'm going to head up to phone, hit let's go for a 13 Pro Max. Let's go big baby. Um and then the background of our app was pretty dark it was like pretty much black so let's just do that i am not gonna do the iconography in there because there was a really cool dice but uh, i'll just leave that out but i will do the text in here that says lotus i'm trying to see how fast i can create this app today let's beef up the text there it was kind of like a fun chunky let's stick with uh enter but let's go like a little bit more bold that's extra bold we have there and then let's come down here and make it all caps all the time take our text center it in our page it's looking pretty good so far i'm gonna zoom in on our design and right here i'm just gonna say mtg all in caps life counter now we are going to want to change this let's go down from bold to semi-bold that's going to help us create a little typographic scale and let's bring the size of our text down we're not being really really picky about our text right now and then let's get away from that always capitalization deal and go back to normal uh and i'm going to bring that into the center this is kind of locking up nicely okay it's looking pretty close actually to the original uh we had buttons they were like really bright really big chunky kind of like colorful buttons so i'm actually gonna hit t for text and i'm gonna put start right here you know this text is a little bit rounder and funner in the uh, actual application but this will do it's fine for now i'm gonna jump up to like 28 there on the text take my text and hit shift a that's gonna put an auto layout around my text auto layouts are containers they're frames they are stylable so let's fill it with a bright obnoxious pink because that's what was kind of going on in our design something like that and then we're going to put our text in the middle you guessed it let's do some padding this way we're about 80 pixels of padding on that side uh, a little bit more padding top and bottom round the corners and we have a nice kind of vibrant pink button i think it's not vibrant enough though let's Take it a little bit more into like the reddish kind of pink. That's fun. I like it. I'm into it. Uh, I'm going to stretch this out uh, just so it kind of fills up the entire thing. And I think the padding is a bit much. So let's go to like, ooh, let's go to like 14, 14 pixels of padding. I think works just fine. Now we'll take this thing, this button, and we'll bring it down. Let's do about... 16 pixels of padding below and we'll do a stroke this was like our secondary i think it was called game history we will outline this in white we will remove the fill we will increase the size of the stroke and we will actually bring the opacity of it down and this said game history let's so let's just game history beautiful we're done there uh and let's just give a little bit more space there was some other stuff down here some navigation but we're not going to do that we're going to create the secondary screen here this is a really simple app but it's really really good at what it does all this to show to say that simple sometimes is the best thing you could do uh we have the same kind of like text layout this says just right here it just says life uh let's just make sure this is all center aligned text and center align everything there and then we'll put here set a starting life set a starting life just like so uh, we'll put a colon at the end because they do as well and it looks like they're bringing the opacity of the text down so we'll actually do that that's actually better it gives it a little bit of contrast you you can kind of create contrast in your designs through size through color proximity shape opacity whatever and we're doing that here in our design using just a little bit of opacity like kind of creating a light gray kind of effect uh we will there's an option here to do custom um and then we're literally just going to take that same shape here and let's fill it with something like 20 okay and i'm going to change the shape change the shape we are going to fill it but we're going to fill it with ooh, let's fill it with white 
and we're going to be bringing down the opacity of that fill uh, to a certain amount, like maybe, I think this one was like the active, and we're, we'll take the stroke off. We don't need that, right? Okay, cool. So let's kind of reshape this guy. We're going to kind of create a four-up grid here. Let's see what we need to do to create a four-up grid. Uh, yeah, that's about 24 pixels away from each other. It's a little far, so let's go like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six and make sure that we're lining up. We're kind of creating our own grid where we are 12 pixels away there. And we'll take these guys and we'll bring them down. We'll make a grid of 12 pixels away there. And these ones were all kind of like uh, inactive states. So we'll take the opacity down. Like, you know, it's kind of like leaning towards 20. Uh, so we'll, yeah, we'll do like 20, 30, 40, uh, 100 I don't know who would play magic up to 100 that would be the craziest thing ever and uh, okay cool and you know this is an iOS app so we do have like a little bit of a uh, I'll take a rectangle and just put our, our little pull bar down at the bottom I will drag our line out there and I'll take my height down just a little bit making it kind of subtle uh, maybe like six and then why don't we actually take the size of it down it's not that big it doesn't need to be that big let's put it in the middle good now we have a pull bar we are done with screen two i'm telling you it's a really simple application this one is even simpler this one says uh players uh set a number of players set a number of players like that a court let's bring the colon in for consistency and we'll be back here now this one was a little bit more fun it got rid of the button and it brought some color in so this one would be like one player, not 210, one player. And it went for like kind of a three up uh, like layout. So we'll do one, two, three. We're kind of close. Eh, we're not being real nitpicky here. We're close to our original. And you know, what we can do is just grab all of these and we can, uh, we could tidy them up, but it's not letting us for some reason. We are 13 from the top, 14 from the bottom. Let's just move those in. It's imperfect, I know. And these were like really like uh, bold, like ridiculous color. So 100% here, but we're just gonna pick like red there. Uh, let's grab all of these really quickly. Why edit one thing when you can edit all of them at once? Uh, so we'll do that. Let's go to like a really like bright blue. And then this one was like a really bright green. Not that bright, but pretty bright. Uh, it, this one had like a really fun uh, kind of like gold color. And these are all, they're gonna be different numbers here, right? Obviously. So let's just find like another color that would be fun. Maybe like a pink color. And the last one, geez Louise, I don't know what it was. It was kind of dark actually. Okay, let's update the numbers here. Uh, two, three, four, five, and six, and that's it. You just have to select one of those. Now, it did have this inner, this stage in between where you would actually select the orientation. Uh, we could do that, we could try to do that. I'm gonna open up Nucleo, which is like my icon uh, software that kind of houses all of my icons. And I'm just gonna look for like a user. This is fine and dandy, let's use this guy, all right? We'll drag it into our design and we'll drag it out of the frame that it creates for it. We're gonna move this up here and we will actually fill it with white. That's gonna make the most sense. And we will drag our next screen over, select two. And we kind of had, uh, what did it say here? It said layout, Boop, like that. Layout, choose a game layout. Choose a game layout, like that. Fun. Okay, cool. And let's get rid of these. And let's just get rid of all of these, shall we? Uh, we'll do a rectangle and we'll draw that rectangle like so. We will round those corners a little bit to kind of match the rest of our design. Let's give it a stroke, take away the fill and our stroke should be white with a couple of pixels and bring the opacity down. I'm working really fast because it's fine. I can work really fast. This doesn't have to be super duper perfect. It's just for fun. Uh, I'm gonna do another one because inside of here, there was two rectangles now, and this one actually did have a fill. And we turn off the um, we turn off the stroke. So let's do kind of a lighter gray. We'll bump this up and we'll move the border radius out just a little bit. Okay, we'll do like six pixels of space there. And let's why not? Let's just bring this down. That's about right. And then we will find our yeah, these are like a little bit tight to the edge. So why don't we just bring it in like that? 
space them out a little bit. Good. Now they're like kind of centered in the middle, using those snapping guidelines uh, as much as we possibly can. Let's shrink this one down. And this would be like the players where they're sitting at uh, at the table. So, so let's actually grab our avatar icon and line it up right there and line it up this one across the table. Beautiful. Okay, love it. Uh, we'll grab this little layout here, this guy. We'll group it together. We will drag a new one over. We'll center both of them. And this other one was, I think it was like side by side. So it was like two players sitting side by side or across the table from each other. After our users select one of those, then let's just kick them right into the game and we'll make the counter. I think that's the, probably the best thing to do. So we're going to kick into the game and boom, I'm going to copy this screen and I'm going to get rid of a couple of these. Now, uh, in our game, we're, let's let's save this text for now, shall we? Uh, I'm actually going to undo what I just did. I'm going to drag these off the screen. I'm going to drag both of these, and I'm going to align them in the center like this. I'm going to press K for scale, and I'm going to bring it up, because this is basically, this is the rest of the interface, right? Like, it's just taking up the entirety of our interface. And I'm going to take the top one and I'm going to say this top one is going to be our green team. And let's sink that green so it's a little deeper here. And then maybe down below, it's going to be our blue. And let's take our player here. And yeah, that, oh, where do we, okay, I see, I see, I see. I, let's put this inside. We're going to grab both of those. Shift A, put them into an auto layout, stack them vertically, uh, move that one above it. And we're going to take that auto layout that's inside of that auto layout. Make sure that everything's center. We'll bring the uh, padding down. And this one is going to say like the count of the lives. So let's do 20 there. But we're going to have to make that text a lot, a lot, a lot bigger. And then this thing actually could go on top. And it could say player one. Boom. Player one like so and let's bring the opacity of that text up it doesn't need to be so light anymore and we need like a heart to represent the life so let's just come down here and hit heart there's a heart right there we're gonna drag it that's not a heart at all let's try this heart boom that one works i'm going to get it out of the shape drag it into my auto layout it dumps it right at the bottom let's make it white shrink it down it's an auto layout so just immediately put it where we wanted it to go and uh Let's take that auto layout really quickly. We're just going to kind of spin it around because it needs to match that side of the table. Boom, this is going to happen there. All right, so we have our design built and we created a bunch of different screens with just the varying numbers down there. And now we're just going to prototype this thing together. So I have prototype open. I'm going to hit my start button and on tap, you guessed it, we're going to navigate to iPhone 13. And not instant, let's just, we'll do a quick push. We'll push in just like that, beautiful. And we'll pick 20, we'll push in just like that. And we're doing that, that, that at like 300 milliseconds, that's pretty quick. Let's grab two players, we'll push in, and we'll grab our orientation, and now we are here. Now, we need to create some actual tappable state. So let's come back to our design really quickly. We're not quite done here. We do have to hit, um, Let's see, uh, R for rectangle, and let's put a hidden tap state. So we're gonna call this tap state down, and we're gonna call this one up, okay? Uh, so we have down, and we have up, and the opacity of down and up are gonna be 0%. Okay, so now we can take down and up, and we can put them uh, in our other frames. Right, so they're there, they're visible, they're tappable, we can do the whole thing. Now all we have to do is uh, click on down and prototype it over and let's do that instant, just like so. You could do a dissolve too if you want and then we'll just keep on working. We're gonna prototype instantly from one to another and our up should lead back, beautiful. Our up should lead back, up should lead back, back to our up one, right? And just like so. So from that, we should be able to actually come over and say start here and we'll press play let's see how our prototype works does it work i don't know it's a really really easy and fun app we can press start there 20 life two players here's our orientation layout down 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 up 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 now we have a little bit of issue with our auto layout it's kind of uncentering things but that's okay it works for the most part right and that is it we have created 
our Magic the Gathering counter in Figma, doing all the prototyping. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design, development, and prototyping just like this one in Figma, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. I hope you're having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and just having some fun and experimenting and creating things you're passionate about. I'll see you in the next one.